Revolutionary forces are advancing deep into the heart of Gaddafi's birthplace, driving out the remaining die-hard loyalists and foreign mercenaries. The National Transitional Council says Libya will be completely freed from the reign of Gaddafi within the coming days. I will reassure all Libyans that the liberation will be done in the coming few days. The city of Bani Walid is under siege from five directions. As for Sirta, after the heavy fighting in recent days, the fighters reached the city center and I think and I hope with the help of God the liberation of these two towns will be completed by the end of this week. Libyan revolutionaries have seized control of the landmark conference complex on the southern side of Sirt. The fortress-like complex has been a major objective of the NTC forces. Gaddafi used to host African leaders in that complex. In their advance, the revolutionary fighters also managed to bring under control the city's main hospital. A massive firefight broke out near the hospital on Sunday with intense machine gun and rocket fire. Uh, we were here at the Ibn Sina hospital and we were walking through the hospital and we saw many, many patients there. Uh, most of whom are mercenaries or uh, part of the Qaddafi forces. Uh, but there are also uh, mostly civilians as well in this hospital. These fighters were in celebratory mood after they took control of Sirts University and its new campus. They say Gaddafi snipers were using the campus buildings to target the fighters. But despite the celebrations, the Battle of Sirte has come to at heavy cost. Medics say at least 23 fighters have been killed and almost 330 wounded since Friday. Thousands of civilians have also been trapped in the city without access to basic necessities. Meanwhile, the revolutionary fighters say they have taken control of the airport in the deserted town of Bani Walid. The city is among the last two strongholds of Gaddafi's loyalists.